Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel of The Crafted Life. If you are new here and you like color and DIY and old houses, then this is the place for you because that is what I do. I just bought my first house and I'm adding color and fixing it up and documenting the whole process. So if that sounds of interest to you, definitely like and subscribe, stay around for a while. And that brings me to today's project, which is adding color to this wall behind me. I have this wall in my house, which we're in the dining room right now. If you haven't seen the tour of my house, definitely go back and check that out. But right now I'm focused on the dining room. It is a central focus wall in the house. It needs some color, it needs some life. Okay, so I set myself a budget of $100 just to fill this wall with color and art. So with a little DIY magic, I think that I could do it, but stay tuned and let's see if I can. Here's a quick recap of the space before. We just painted the walls white so they were already prepped and ready to go. There's a full materials list in the caption below or you can pause to read it here. I started by prepping my frame. Now if your frame has a finish on it, you'll want to give it a light sanding before starting with primer. I used the shellac based primer and gave my frame two coats and then set it aside. While my frame dried, I moved on to prep the wall with tape. And by I moved on, I mean that Ryan did all of the tape work. He's much better at precision work than I am, and that's exactly what this project needed. Okay, so two quick tips. Number one, a laser level will help so much. And two, mark where any furniture is before you move it. It will help with the overall placement of your tape. For the color, I wanted to pull something from the painting. I ended up using Diva Glam by Bear and I thought it was almost an exact match. I started painting my frame and while that coat dried, I moved on to work on the wall. It helps to save a bit of time to go back and forth while things are drying. If you're taking a break between coats, keeping your brush in a plastic bag will keep it from drying out. Now, it was in this moment that I realized I was using the wrong roller. I have an infant, I'm not sleeping, you get it. But I bought this roller initially to paint the frame and it was just too small for the wall. But with all DIYs, I just kept going because it was already late and I didn't want to go to the store again. I got all the paint on the wall and then after my last coat, I peeled the tape and let it dry. The only thing left to do at this point was to get the art in the frame and then hang it on the wall. I grabbed this art from Etsy and then printed it at Staples. More details about that and links are in the caption below. One of my favorite home decor tools is this picture hanger. It will mark exactly where you need to place the nail and it helps you level the art once it's on the wall. Again, all links are in the caption below. And that's the project. I think the color and the size certainly make it a statement piece. And for the space with the budget, everything came together nicely. The frame was the biggest expense and ultimately that's what pushed me over the $100 budget, but this could easily be reduced if you're thrifting or shopping secondhand. P.S. and shameless plug here, you can find this idea and more in my book, Colorful Living, coming out this fall. Let me know what you think or if you have any questions in the comments below.